I mean, the city center of Poznan today, and something serious is going on. There is the protest of the farmers. Here we go, everything is closed. What's up, everybody? Today is very big day. This is the farmer protest in Poland. All Poland is fully blocked. The whole cities, including the Poznan uh, city center, is fully blocked. It's totally like uh, over 1,000 uh, farmers with their uh, big tractors and everything. They block the whole entire city. Uh, to protest regarding the prices of their uh, stuff, what they produce, of course, uh, wheat or uh, any other uh, stuff. And uh, of course about the, some European norms, what well, they are not happy with it. Only the public transport, the trams are allowed to go and the whole entire city, city center, old town is closed. Uh, this is like a uh, whole plan is going on like this one today. Previously they were doing this in the Germany and France and other European uh, countries. Now they are doing this in Poland. Also the police officers are here because we have a freedom of speech in Poland and in Europe in general. And we have uh, rights to protest and everything. So let's see what they're gonna do. They're doing this since 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. today. So the, everybody who is doing something in the city center. And it's Friday. So it's very, very busy day and problematic for them for the city and for the country itself so we will see what's gonna happen no more talking about the politics but i'm gonna show you what's going on because this is not happen every day anyways that's how does it look like this is the city center they blocked uh, the tractors they let the only police officers to block the main street because the trams has to go i don't know how far it have no idea how those cars there let permission maybe because the people living still here uh, but uh, uh, the whole entire street, uh, this is Aleje Wielkopolskie uh, in Niepodległości also, uh, this is like Independence Street, name of the independence. They block fully, totally, that's why what I'm going today and I'm gonna show you because, uh, well, I wish them all the best uh, since uh, my father when he was young, he was the farmer. Uh, so I understand how the life is going and how difficult this life of the bank the farmer. Uh, so coming from the village, I know many people who are the farmers. So from my side, I am really agree what they are doing. However, they bring even their partners, uh, their kids, and they block the whole entire street. This is the major, major street here uh, in Poznan. What? They make noises. They make a stuff, all of this. Here we go, check this out. Even it's minus, well, it's one degree or two degree and it's raining, it's pouring. Uh, they come here and also I came here to make a video for you. Even I'm totally soaked already. Uh, this is what's going on. Probably if the weather will be better, will be more people. And, well, I need to clean the lens of the camera. It's foggy. They make so much noise. Some people coming, especially the younger people, to making a videos as well. But you also know age it doesn't matter. This is something, something totally different is going on. Something like that in Germany, but uh, in Poland, I don't remember where uh, last time was such a thing like this one. Also, some of the machines probably gonna be bigger, some of them gonna be smaller, doesn't matter. The most important thing is they are uh, in solidarity together, they're coming and they are doing it. And it's not like only one or two people have uh, idea and the rest people will, oh, I'm not gonna do it or something. They are in solidarity, they're doing everything together. Uh, only that's how you can make the changes. If the people don't agree with something, uh, that's the only way to make a big, big protest. But also you have to be in the country where this is legal. Because obviously if you are doing something like this in Indonesia, where I used to live in the last eight years, well, you know what will happen to you. But here, there will be no problem. Either they're gonna just uh, receive what they want or not. That's the only thing. That's the only difference. As you can see, they block literally everything uh, in the middle of the street, totally. But they are nice, they leave the uh, emergency line for the ambulance or police officers if something happened. So this is not like a totally like outlaw or something like that one. They bring the Polish flags and everything at the front of the government building. Obviously, the name of the protest, obviously. They broke all junctions here. Yeah. This is how does it look like actually. Let me show you, let me show you more. Some bring some food. Uh, this is this is how it is this is crazy like as you can see this is one of the government buildings with the red lights like this one the red signs and the emblem of poland and they are just blocked the front of it no matter of what uh, they have to fight for their freedom and for their rights and well what i'm gonna tell you is just a lot a lot a lot of them i read on the news and i heard last night 
when I was coming from my uh, mama house actually is there gonna be over 1,000 of the farmers of the tractors actually so the farmers is probably like uh, one and a half thousand or so they bring all their stuff no matter what they have it uh, so this is how does it work like not too many people because people are busy of course with the jobs and stuff and the weather is so but they are doing their best they honking uh, there are a lot to do so but as you can see also very important thing is I would like to notice to compare actually to the Germany or to the France they are just peacefully peacefully uh, having their own uh, protest uh, their own strike like the protest uh, seeing in their uh, tractors or their machines or everything and everything is peaceful there is no fight there is no fire there is no any you know things what we know from france and from germany like for example uh, where they are fighting with the police or police fighting with them or the other people join and they start burning something or demolition or something here the protest here in poland is just simply very 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 peaceful that's how it's supposed to be I would like to also notice as there is no perfect place in the world in poland is no perfect either that's why they are fighting for it but so so far in 2024 2023 recently right now poland is one of the safest safest countries in europe take it in advantage take it uh, remember that and this is just the sign as there you can do peaceful peaceful protests nothing will happen they're just fighting for their rights and that's how it's supposed to be and that's actually how it is here uh, in poznan so it's cool some of them uh, have a big structure some of them have a small doesn't really matter and the rest of the city is open so it's not like totally you cannot do anything only only in the specific area there are so many government buildings that's how it's supposed to be this is one of the things what's happening in the place where you are living you have to go out and film no matter what whatever weather it is is it shiny or rainy or snow or whatever I'm totally soaked, I'm not gonna lie, but at least I had the opportunity I showed you. I'm not sure if many people, especially in English, gonna show you like this one in Poland. Maybe in Germany, yes, or maybe in France, but here, maybe lesser. Maybe some Polish YouTubers will do so. Uh, I'm going to continue doing my stuff. Also, hope I'm gonna dry myself some a little bit, maybe get us some hot drink. I believe also they have it something because I saw this uh, catering cars, uh, they providing the hot food and the drinks for them. Uh, I can still see the uh, things in the background as they are fighting. <laughs> I mean, they are like uh, doing the signals and everything. Uh, so far, that's it from me for today. Something totally different, totally unexpected. But, uh, well, this is how does it work out and this is how the life is going, right? Uh, thanks so much for watching, listening. And of course, if you don't like the content like this, this is just once in the lifetime, I could say. I don't think so tomorrow or any other week or month they will do the same. Uh, but if so, I will see you on next video. It's regular, regular content. See you. Take care. Thanks.